Every so often, I'll make a video centered around Club Penguin, but that's weird because I'm a cartoon channel, so why would I talk about a random online game? Well, the truth is, it's really special to me. I've spent so much of my childhood hanging out on the site, and that's why I started making YouTube videos. I was EagleFan246, going by the Penguin name Oscar1. There's a very real chance that if it weren't for Club Penguin, I may not have ever been making videos here right now. But I'm not here to tell you my life story, because instead there's something pretty interesting that's worth sharing to anybody who spent some of the childhoods in the popular online penguin world. If you grew up with the game, chances are you recognize the name Screenhog. He was one of the original moderators who worked on a bunch of things behind the scenes and played a major role on the Club Penguin team. A few months ago, he started uploading videos on his YouTube channel giving out secrets and tons of nice details of his experiences while working on Club Penguin. I honestly just found out he had a YouTube channel a few days ago, but the stuff he puts out is just really refreshing to see. Although the golden years of the game are gone and no official version exists today, hearing stories and secrets about what went into the making of this game is something that hasn't surfaced online much before. As an example to the type of information Screenhog shares, he has a series discussing how various songs are made. Turns out he composed a solid share of Club Penguin's party or game music, and he shares what went on during the making of those songs. For example, he went in depth on how Aqua Grabber's song was made, playing it himself and revealing what inspires him to compose it a certain way. Um, the water bubbling sounds actually came from this keyboard as well. There happens to be a sound in here called Submarine, so I just used the... During these videos, he usually ends up playing either deleted, never-before-heard songs that would have made it into Club Penguin, but they usually don't fit as well as the final versions. We also find out some nice little facts about the songs that I honestly never expected to hear, like how Aqua Grabber's soundtrack is based on Finding Nemo, or the Box Dimension song was based on a level in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And if we're talking about the Box Dimension, there were actually five songs that didn't make it into Club Penguin because it was hard to create what exactly a dimension filled with boxes would sound like. Of course, these are quick little examples and there's way more scattered throughout Screenhog's videos, but basically we get an entirely new perspective on all this. Although it's true Screenhog specialized in crafting music for the game, it's not all he did during his time on Club Penguin. He recently made a video going over various 3D models of penguins, showing and talking about their various animations while telling some nice stories about them. One of the cool pieces of trivia he mentioned is that he was the one to decide the beta hat's colors of pink and yellow, and he chose them because he thought they were ugly so nobody would really want it at all. He was wrong though, since this became the most highly requested item of all time. Little facts and secrets like these are awesome, especially coming from one of the guys who played an important role in Club Penguin's golden years. Being someone who grew up with the game since late 2006, I think Screenhog's videos are a must watch. If you've spent any childhood days playing, or you're just interested in how a massive online game such as this one was made, then at the very least check out some of his content. So far I went over a few secrets he already mentioned but there's so much more he talks about and so much more coming soon. Uh, this was the, uh, so it would start with this. Um... Overall, I just thought this was worth talking about because it's not often we get a perspective like Screen Hogs, and there's so many little things you can learn about Club Penguin that not even the most experienced players will know. The link to his channel will be in the description if anyone's interested. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.